Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing good this weekend. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and I definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, much love to you. And for my returning subs, my extended family, thank you so much for the love and support that you send me each and every day. The good vibes, the funny comments, I'm glad that we're able to all just get into union and just, you know, comment off of other people's comments and send people out, you know, good vibes, loving vibes, hoping that everybody has a good day or a good week or a blessed whatever. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely able to come for you. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video and if you feel like you're comfortable enough go ahead and drop me a line i love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me or even if it's about the positive feedback or you're just you know wanting to comment on the content of my video if it's all positive it's all welcome or if you feel like you know i don't put you in a good vibe or it gave you more understanding to the things that you're going through go ahead share the word you know spread the love Give me a thumbs up, like, and even share, and I'll all be greatly appreciated. And thank you so much for stopping by my channel. And the music that I'm listening to today is called meditation music, yoga music, relaxing music, common music, good grief, stressful relief music, relax, 332C. I mean, 300, uh, never mind, 3304C, my bad. I'll be posting that link in the description box below. And my video today is about Twin Flame 101. Full Eclipse was no easy road. Oh my gosh, y'all. Oh, always me, always they. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know, I was having a good, you know, good couple of days. You know, it was just like you start seeing things for what they truly are. And next thing you know, I tried to, y'all, I tried to go to sleep and go, to, I went to sleep early just so I didn't have to experience the full eclipse because I know every time it's like there's like a blue moon or some kind of major shift with the moon or whatever, I start feeling weird. You know, I get agitated. I get, you know, it, it just, it seems like it brings out the bad in folks sometimes or it brings out really deep emotions. So I'm just like, I'm just wondering, did anybody else go through this? I mean, as soon as I, I woke up, it, it felt like somebody peed in my coffee and in my cereal. I'm like, why am I like this? And I said, thank God I was able to talk to one of my sisters. And you know who you are. I mean, she, we cried, we laughed. I mean, we cried until we started laughing. I mean, laughing until we started crying. I mean, it was just. It was a good thing because I purged the heck out of some stuff. Because it's like the stuff that I go through now, it affects me. But I think the, the stuff that really affected me more is when I was little. So it's just like when I can bring up stuff like that from when I was younger. And, you know, basically, you know, it would really affected me. Because it's just like as a child, you should never have to experience the things that I experienced. You know, and it's just like sometimes I've talked about it before, you know, a lot you know, way before my, my older videos, you know, telling you about my childhood, but, you know, that's something that's really heavy that, you know, I wouldn't want to hurt somebody just for them hearing that because I, I just know what effect it had on my friend. So I would never, you know, I did not even want her to feel that way, but I guess it's just the things that I was going through and I told her that that happened, you know, really caused a, you know, a major effect. So it was just like when you can see the things that are going on through everything that's going on. I mean, sometimes that truth hurts, but those are things that we have to release. So I don't know if anybody else was going there. Y'all go ahead and drop me a line and let me know how it was for you on a Friday 13th. I mean, I was going to the store to get me some daggone gas. And I mean, there was a car accident right at the stoplight. And I mean, stop sign. I'm just like, are you serious? They got stuff blocked. You can't, like, you're scared to go across the street because you don't know if there's a car coming. So that could end up being another, you know, another car accident. So you can't really go. So you have to see if the cops can go ahead and direct you to make sure you're not going to cause another accident. And I'm like, it's Friday 13th. I'm not even trying to be hit. So it was just like, I wanted to come home. I wanted to go ahead and watch the Jason Marathon. You know, just have me a good time. But it was just like, no. 
you have to release all these things, you know, things that I thought, oh, geez. I said, I thought I released all these things. So I was on home, girl, like, why am I going through this? I thought I released this, and it's just coming up, and I just start bah ha 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 So it's just like, you know, I started feeling out of it like I was just, like, I don't know if it was like a matrix thing or whatever, you know, but it just felt like it brought on way different energy. And it was like it was nothing to play with. It was nothing to play with. And, you know, and if y'all had some good days, you know what? I'm, you know, I'm so happy for you. <laughs> I'm so happy for you because you got it good if you did not have any kind of issues. But me, but actually, I'm glad I went through it because I knew it was something that it, it was like things were hitting back to back to back to where it got me so frustrated where it was like a boiling pot like it was about to explode anyway so it needed to go ahead and do that so I can go ahead and release everything and I'm just like shoot I'm good because I knew I had to go through that you know and I was agitated at first and I really did it didn't make sense to me but then when I had to step back and realize okay Rosalind you had to go through this you had to be able to release because if you want to be a better person or you want to be in a better version of yourself and you want to you know you have to keep purging and it's just like sometimes we really feel like we have released a lot of things that we might have but we have to give ourselves credit for a lot of the things we have released because sometimes I get hard on myself and just like you know I'm like oh you know why am I still going through this but I have to think about how much stuff I've released how much stuff I've experienced and I have it came out as, as a positive situation and how it's made me grow and helped me heal off a lot of things but it's just when it comes to my childhood oh my gosh it's just I'm really ready to let go of it I'm really trying to find that peace I really am because it's just like when I can see my inner child I really want to hug her because she's been through so much you know, and it's just like when I see my inner child, I just hug her and we both just cry because it's just what I seen. You know, I know how much stuff she went through and it's just like I want her to heal. And it's just like when we're going through things, you know, we're going to go through things and sometimes it's just going to be a revolving door until we can be able to release all these things. We have these issues and, you know, it's okay. It's just like sometimes we have really been deeply scarred where it might take a little bit of time to go ahead and release that but that's okay because it's just like it's all in divine timing anyway it's like we can't speed up that process even though you know there's some things that we can just get over and just like you know I'm over it you know that's fine you know you can't force things to be how they are you can't force people to be a certain way you can just do what you can do for yourself so it's just like when you're going through these things, you know, and it might have been aggravating, but just know that we had to go through this. If you were purging and you were releasing a lot of things, you might have been moody. You probably have cried a little bit. I don't know. I did. <laughs> I know I did. But I felt so much better after that. I felt so much better. And it's just like I knew I had to go through that process if I want to be a better person about myself. And I know I want to release these things because it's just like things will, you know, mirror myself. Mirror is you know, mirror it to me, just like I can mirror it to somebody else about the things that they might need to change. I knew that, you know, I need to release this because it's just like if things keep coming up to me and I know how, you know, it's just like <clears throat> just talking about my parents sometimes, it would kind of trigger me if it if it was a certain situation. It's just like I can bring them up and I, half the time I barely bring them up in my videos anyway because I have, you know, I'm putting my, my focus and my energy on other things. You know, trying to be a better person, you know, just trying to find my way home. You know what I'm saying? Just trying to find my way home. Trying to be a better person to be for myself, to be independent. And know that this is, you know, this is not all how life is. Even though this is how my life has been for so long, I know that there is a silver lining in all this and know that I'm going to be I'm going to be okay things are going to be better for me you know things are going to you know open up many doors for me so and and I'll be all right so it's just like when you know you got to go through things you know we have to lose our mind to find it sometimes we have to be misplaced to be guided you know, that's how, that's how we find ourselves. That's how our awakening, you know, we go through these different things and we have to go through traumatic things to be able to open our eyes to realize, you know what, 
this is not how your life is supposed to be. You have to be able to change it to where you can see yourself being happy, where you can see yourself excelling into a bigger and better thing for yourself and never know what it can, you know, it can collaborate with something else. You know, it's just like if, you know, like Google, you know, anything like, you know, things that you can, know, you know, that can contribute to something that can do better for the earth, better for our community, better, better for humanity. You know, that's what I'm more focusing on. I said, I can't sit up here and be focusing on the things that I went through in my past. I know I have to heal from that. You know, I don't want to tell myself to get over it because that's a harsh way to tell anybody to get over something like that because it's just you it's things I went through I wouldn't even wish on my worst enemy but it's just you have to be able to heal from the things that you went through and knowing that you can use that as a milestone on becoming a stronger person so I hope you were able to resonate with this video. Um, if you have went through things, you know, my blessings go out to you. You know, if you had some blessings that happened over the weekend, hey, my blessings still go out to you. And I'm very happy for you. And if you've been through things, just know they're going to be better. I know, trust me, I know. Things are going to get better for you. Like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my videos. You know, drop me a line. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Stay blessed, stay prosperous, know that you are loved and you are deeply, highly favored and very beloved. And I will see you on my next video. Spread as much love and light as possible. And I'll see you later. Peace and be wild.